It'll just be a bug. Yeah, but I've got to keep her off school for 24 hours at least. Dad, could you stay with her? Oh, I'm taking Diane to the garden centre to look at the dash. She needs a pick-me-up after all she's been through. Well, maybe Daddy could stop here while I go and see Benice. Oh, I'm only back for a quick shower. I stink of fry-ups. Well, look, I know you're busy working with two jobs and everything, but I've got my interview. Yeah, but I mean, you're only flogging face cream. You are going to storm it. Which is why I bored you to sleep last night. Anyway, it's not just face cream. It is a deluxe range of rejuvenating body treatments which have scientifically been tailored. Oh, God. utter tosh. If you can't convince them, no one can. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, I've got to fly. I'll, I'll okay. talk later. All right, bye. Hi. Hello. Don't say I finally caught you out of the kitchen. Then come here. Come here! <laughs> Excuse the way. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, the black pudding. Mm. Ah, it's the smell of home. Oh, <laughs> hi, Paul. Oh. How's Val? She's had another good night. Uh, I'm going in later to say goodbye. Oh, you're leaving us already? Uh, it's a flying visit, I'm afraid. Things to sort. <laughs> you put the kettle on and I'll prepare us for our makeup masterclass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you know about makeup? Well, it is a closely guarded secret. Hey, get up, get back. The car's making a kind of grinding noise. <laughs> Don't you worry about me, Chrissy. You just enjoy your break with Lachlan, huh? Croissants and all. <laughs> oh, this is proper class. Sorry, I'm going to have to go. Hiya. You've got a gorgeous house. You are lucky. Luck has very little to do with it. <sighs> right, come on. What? I thought we were having brekkie. Well, I'm going back to bed. You can do what you want. Sorry. We didn't exactly get much sleep. <laughs> Maybe catch you later. Ooh. Oh! Hello. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> I will not have this place used as a knocking shop. Oh, come on, Lawrence. From driving off a cliff, this is definite progress. Oh, it's healthy, is it? Betting the local bike? Well, if it stops them thinking about Katie, then... She's been dead a month. Where's your respect? You will inform him that this is unacceptable behaviour. Well, it's just sex, Lawrence. Cheap. Dirty, gratuitous sex. Highly recommended as a quick fix from reality. You can't say you haven't been tempted. Lachlan will be back in a matter of days. The last thing he needs is half-naked tarts in the kitchen. Good riddance, you cheeky may. Find some other mug to scab off, do you know what I mean? Benice. What? You have had a right cob on all morning, do you know that? What's the matter? Are you having wobbles about Laurel being my brand ambassador? Cos do you know what? I reckon with a decent blow dry, good blusher, eyelash extensions, she might look all right. No, uh, just this weird thing happened with Andy yesterday. I should probably save it for my mum. He, he came round and he, he just launched himself at me. Well, he tried to cop off, no way. He was drunk. I didn't reciprocate, obviously. Well, I bet you were tempted, though. He doesn't want me. He wants Katie. He had this look in his eyes. Desperate. Empty. Like an animal in pain. Broken hearted. Same as my granddad's dog when he popped off. Just lay down by his ashtray and never moved. That's terrible. No, it was a bit scabby to be honest. I think my granny was relieved. I just wish I could do something to help him. Give him a reason to live again. I just haven't got a clue where to start. I'm gonna catch your death out of here. Maybe we can go out tonight. Not been to the cinema in ages. You're not getting it, are you? I don't want out special. <sighs> I'm trying. This has affected me and JK and all, you know. It's just dead hard to know how to act. We shouldn't be acting at all. I mean, why is everything so fake, eh? It's not. All right, then how'd you hurt your hand? Exactly. Alicia. Ah! Oh, 
morning, you didn't reply to my text, so I thought I'd just calm down. Yeah, I've got a big order going out. Well, just to let you know, I've accepted an offer on the house. Well, it's still on the market. Well, of course. I mean, nothing's happened with Tug Gill since I put in an offer. And I still need to downsize. This is a cash buyer. No shame. Right, so where are you supposed to go? Ah, well, that's the hitch. A pretty major one, Mum. Oh, you'd have been better off waiting. What, till they carry me out in a box? No, no, that house is far too big for me now. All those empty bedrooms. I keep thinking I can hear you and Jay and Nickel. Come on, I'll get you a coffee and you can tell me all about what the estate agent said. <laughs> this isn't just a lipstick. It's a long-lasting, plumping, high-shine gloss that glides on like butter. Uh, not butter. Food and beauty don't mix. Oh, I wish you could do this for me, Paul. <laughs> I wish I could stay. Not just for Mother, but I'm sad I've not seen Dad or Nicola. I miss them. Anyway, <laughs> I'd better make tracks. Give Eric a break before I say my goodbyes. <laughs> Keep an eye on Mother for me, will you? Of course I will. You'll smash this, you know. Or I'll have a word with Bernice. Oh, don't you dare. <laughs> that's all that's worrying you, though, right? Yeah. Or do I need to add you to my list? No, I'm fine. Same as ever. <laughs> OK, good. Then just relax and be your gorgeous self. Oh, thank mm. you, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> mm, see you. Can I watch Stella? Oh, yeah, of course you can, sweetheart. She ain't messing with no bro, bro, bro. I think she a Shut that bro. thing off! Whoa. I'm trying to have a meeting! Sorry. This isn't the Doss house. Get out. Hey, you can't talk to her like that. I'm allowed to have mates back. Yeah, you're welcome to use this place as your own, but within reason, for God's sake! But we haven't done out wrong. I even did your dishes. Yeah, well, if we need another cleaner, I'll let you know. What's that supposed to mean? Look, last warning. I'll have my home respected or he'll have to go. Is he for real? I'll talk to him. OK, I'll buy him a bottle of scotch. Don't worry, I'll ship out. Where to? I've got plenty of options. <laughs> and you've room for a little one, right? I mean, come on, it's, it's too soon. He's still not right. I'll decide that. You've done enough. Have you gone totally insane? It's hardly a stranger. I lived with the woman for 40 years. I'm still mentally scarred. She hasn't got anywhere else to go. And anyway, it's Jay's house. And if you can pop with you... Have you seen Jay? Sorry, am I interrupting something? Priya's trying to convince me to let Georgia move back in temporarily. Oh, well, I get an OK with her when she keeps her opinions to herself. <laughs> Which is never. She is family, Rishi. Yes, and thanks to Rodney, all her confidence is shot. And she's never going to admit this, but I think she really needs us right now. We'll try and get some sleep. Bernice will be here in a minute. I want Mummy. Where's Mummy? What? Oh, my God. Where'd you get this? <sighs> you know you're not supposed to touch adult drinks. Oh, my God! I'm gonna be sick. Oh, yeah, yeah, OK. Um, um, hang on, hang on. Oh, good effort. Although a smile helps, too. Can you get Nicola's car? April's not well. I need to get her to hospital. All right, sweetheart, all right, you're gonna feel better in a minute, I swear. Okay, I promise. No Alicia then? No, she doesn't feel up to a girly night in. I thought that was the point. Yes, well, more sweet treats for us. Uh, when we actually get in. Eat a good job. You're wasting your time. You've changed the locks? You've had your notice. Yeah, but that, that was before Katie died, so... I... Yeah, and you've still got your old place over at Road. Hiya. Mail for you. I had a little snoop through your catalogue, so... <laughs> what are you doing? I'm with him. With? As in... Yeah. <laughs> Not that we have to explain ourselves to you. Are you being serious? Cos I feel sick. Oh, Andy, you're grieving, love. I'll call about your stuff. Oh, 
hot chicken casserole. The clue's kind of in the title. Are, are raw dumplings a thing now? Damn! Mind it coming or what? I've got a sour about to farrow any minute. Uh, sorry, a technical delay. Will the cheese toasted do you? Assuming you can actually remember to turn the grill on. So sorry. I've had a nightmare with the car. Only needs a new flipping clutch amongst other bits and bobs. Ouch. Yeah, there's not much change out of the ground. That's family rates. Just have to hope Laurel gets this pamper party gig. A lot of makeup. <laughs> Marlon, you know if you stretched, cash wise, you really should have said. Oh no. Well, honestly, I'm really annoyed that you didn't. I mean, what's a loan between mates? You just pay me back when you can. We'll cope. I can always sell the old PlayStation. No, that's sacrilege. No, that's not even funny. Two, do you? Hundred. A thousand, you massive dollar. <laughs> Lemonade, bloody. That's. That's loads. It's just the size of the bills we send out. Not that we're ripping anybody off, like, you know, because there's overheads and. Well, the call out rates. Just... Try working for a tenner an hour. Well, anyway, I've got your bank details on file and I'll do it as soon as I get home. I mean, we might not need it. Laurel gets this job. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Cost you an extra life on your status bar. <laughs> she must have thought it was medicine. How much did you drink, April? An inch. Um, it was from a new bottle, that's why I know, cos me and my husband were not big drinkers, so... You should sprayed vomit all over Nicola's car, so I think it must be out of her system by now. Mm, the temperature is still a bit low. Can you swallow this for me? It'll stop you feeling sick. OK. That's a good girl. Just relax and pretend it's something yummy. I can't. Yeah, you can. You can. Um, I'll tell you what, why don't you take a sip of this? That's it, and down it goes. That's it, all gone? Uh... That's it, show the doctor. <gasps> yep. I think that deserves one of my special stickers. So is she all right now? Yeah, no harm done? As long as she doesn't drink out of any more strange bottles. Yeah, well, we're going to have a big talk about that when we get home. Aren't we, April? Kids, eh? They like to keep us on our toes. <laughs> She can stay here for a couple of hours, just until the temperature stabilises. Bernice, um, would you mind keeping this to yourself? You know how much Marlon worries. He's such a disaster monger. Yeah, of course. I never told Ashley when Gabby swallowed an earring. <laughs> Couldn't understand why I was poking around in her poo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose we've all been there. Well, some more than others. Makes a change when it's you, though. The perfect mum. All those years, you made me feel guilty. I've pruned it right down to a capsule collection. Which capsule is that? Apollo Command? Are we clothing the whole of NASA? Please, Rishi, don't be facetious. That is about a quarter of my walk-in wardrobe. I might have to clear another drawer. Now, I've told Jay that I want to pay my own way by doing cleaning. And, and also, obviously, I'll be taking over the whole of the catering. Mm, suits me. Actually, I'm becoming rather a dab hand at cooking. Rishi, please. I'm sure they've reached saturation point with your stir-fry surprise. Mom, you do not have to do anything, OK? I really want you to stay. I hope Rakesh does family rates, cos there might be a murder committed very soon. You were, weren't you? Very brave. But we're going to have to take this off you now. I want to show Dad And I want you to be even braver. And keep this to yourself. It can be our little secret, OK? I thought secrets were bad. Oh, not always. Some secrets make life... easier. Cos we love Daddy, don't we? But do you remember that time when he got so mad we had to go to the police station with PC Mike? Because the car was being silly. Yeah. And he thought it was all my fault. And he got so mad and shouty and upset. We don't want that happening again, do we? I didn't drink out of a bottle. I know. Why did you tell Benice and the doctor I did? <laughs> I just got confused. But it doesn't matter because... The doctor gave you a special pill and you're all better now, OK? OK. So, you won't be needing that anymore.
Right, I'm really going. Your taxi's not here yet. You got time for another? Plus, I'm still not up to speed on your business, so you know how Nicola's going to quiz me later. No, she'd be too busy bragging about fancy champagne brunches. Mm. Yeah, Lawrence, will you send me next time? How's she getting on, by the way? You tell me. I can never get hold of her. I just hope she hasn't let me down. Oh, oh. Come here, you. Oh. We'll keep in touch. Mwah. You know what Mother's like, more front than Brighton, but if there's anything that Eric's not telling me... Yeah, Diane will be on it. And whatever she knows, I do. Mm. Mm. Don't leave it so long next time. <laughs> See. See. Come here. Oh. See you. Right. Oh. Oh. See you soon, he can't kick us out, however rubbish he feels. Oh, what's Andy done now? Only gone and shacked up with Tracy the Trollop and Katie's house. Sounds old, Tracy. Does Debbie know? Everybody, calm down, OK? I know he's been an idiot, but... I bet you wish I hadn't turned him down now. Kerry, that was private. Tried it on with her first. God, Bernice, I'm so sorry. Maybe me next, if he's working through his exes. Even Kerry would be better than Tracy. No offence. I just don't get it. I mean, one minute, he's trying to kill himself because he can't live without Katie, and then the next minute, anyone will do. Hey. Look, maybe I have been trying to take things too quickly. You know, if it happens, it happens. Not some big, major hurdle, is it? When? Not if. And I was thinking that, um, I might check out the Rape Crisis Centre. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I just think it might be good, you know, to get stuff out without having to worry about you and Jacob and... Whatever you want. I'll always be right behind you. Even if I don't know exactly what you need. All I want is to forget it. To just be able to say his name like he's any other lad in the village. Lachlan. See? Get in there. Well, am I looking at the pamper party hostess uh, with the most No, Bernice couldn't come. Some emergency at the salon. Honestly, how oh, that woman is any relation to Diana is a mystery to me. Diana is the epitome of consideration. Police? She don't give a flying future for anyone else. Uh, what happened with the car? New clutch. Kane can do it for 8 50 That's all our savings? Yeah. The party's lending us the money. Plus another grand. What? As a contingency fund until we get back on our feet. So, you get Bernice on the phone, and you tell her to stop messing you around. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. This doesn't make sense. Denise did come. What? She took me to a hospital. Hospital? Shush. I drank Clara's bad juice, but Daddy mustn't know. Andy's not here. Good. I wanted you and me to have a little chat -it. Does Layla know that you're wearing her jacket? Oh, it's a bit... Tacky for me, to be honest, but... Oh, uh, if you're here to moan about the house, I never kicked anyone out. I don't care about the house. I'm worried about Andy. Him and I were... We were very close once upon a time. Yeah, I heard. But nothing like him and his Princess Katie. I mean, they were soulmates. Childhood sweethearts. I doubt he'll ever get over her. You do understand? Yeah, I know. He's on the rebound. But if this is the way he wants to deal with it, then... Uh... Where's the harm? So you don't mind that he's totally using you? <laughs> it's win-win. I get a place to stay and he gets what he needs. Sex for a bed? Are you really that shameless? Not when you put it like that. We're actually dead good together. No. The Andy I know is sweet and kind and caring. He'd never do anything this crass and insulting. I, I don't even know what crass means, but I'm guessing it's dissing me, so I reckon we're done here. Fine. As long as you know, I will be watching his back from now on. Do you hear me, lady? And if you mess with his feelings, I'll be coming for you. <sighs> I 
I hope you're just lying to Marlon, not yourself. Sorry? What exactly are you hiding? Drinking boozy juice in the middle of the day or letting a five-year-old suck from your glass? It was old orange from the fridge, for your information, and I, there was no point me panicking Marlon over a minor tummy upset. Old orange. Rubbish. Why don't you just face the facts? You weren't even here. I did ask for your help this morning, but you couldn't give a toss. It all makes sense now. Losing your job. Hiding booze last week. No, that's not true. Have you got an alcohol problem? Because it's staring me in the face. No, my only problem is you. How dare you go snooping about, questioning April? I just want you to admit no. it. If you don't like the way I live my life, then you can go and find somebody else's personal space to invade. I'm trying to go help you. Go back off! OK? You're only here because of my generosity, so don't you ever go accusing me again, all right? Where's the car? I'm not your wedding car, love. Oh, well, who are you then? Gavin Rodwell, the real one. Yes, there's a shock in store on Gail's wedding day next in Coronation Street. <laughs>